Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. So government brings non-urea fertilizer under price control and fixes the profit margins. So this is the news. So previously the non-urea fertilizers have been recontrolled but it have been uh, by fixing the profit margin this non-urea uh, fertilizer is again coming back to the control of government. So this is what the news is about. Let's look into further details of the news. First we will look into how the news has been related with examination. Under prelims the news is related to economic and social development. Similarly under mains it has been related with GSK for 3. Under uh, agriculture topic through a subtopic called issues related to direct and indirect farm subsidy. So this is how the news has been related with examination. Okay let's look into further details of the news. See uh, the government has bought the all fertilizers that receives NBS that is the nutrient based subs subsidy under the reasonable control. The reasonable control is nothing but fixing the profit margin for each and every private sectors, those who are producing the fertilizers. And under NBS scheme which was introduced in 2010, the uh, MRP for the non-urea based fertilizers have been market, have been made as the market determined. The government pays only a fixed per ton su subsidy on each of this non-urea fertilizer fertilizer based on the nutrients on the uh, based on the nutrient percentage of nitrogen phosphorus potassium as well as sulfur and the guideline to be for the implementation of the uh, the reasonable control will be effective from april 1 2023 that is retrospective effect and uh, it has prescribed the maximum margin for the fertilizer firms as 8% for the importers 10% for the manufacturers 12% for the integrated manufacturers that is those who are producing the finished fertilizer and also the intermediaries and the companies earning, earning above the stipulated percentage that is the prescribed percentage need to return the excess profit which they are earning to the department of fertilizer and if they are not if they are failing to do so they will be uh, penalized with the interest rate of 12% per annum so this is what the details of the news is about so let's look into other further aspect of the news what the uh, the, the news is uh, the mrp with regards to the fertilizer that is the urea based fertilizer is 5360 per ton and it is it has remained uh, on the same more or less on the same price since 2012 the only change that has taken place in the uh, Fertilizer uh, prices, the company is being permitted to charge the ex extra 5% for the neem coated urea, for coating of the neem on the urea. And for the non urea fertilizers, all are already, apart from the, the reasonable control which is going to be implemented uh, from this year onwards, even though it has been marketly determined, the non urea fertilizers is, has been under the uh, informal control because this fertilizer prices plays a major role in the political outcome. So it has been under the, even though it has been uh, technically as well as theoretically it has been under market control, uh, it has been under uh, informally under government control only even before the implementation or the decision that has been made with regards to the fixation of the profit margin. So let's look into the benefits of the nutrient based subsidy. So what is the benefit the government has with regards to the nutrient, nutrient based subsidy and what is the rationality in implementing it this is it will enable the availability of fertilizers to farmers at the reasonable price because of the subsidy that has been provided with respect to, to the fertilizer uh, the nutrient that has been added, added to the fertilizer which in turn will be reducing the output of fertilizer and then it will ensure that there will be rationalized used of fertilizer in the soil because of the uh, subsidy that has been provided across different nutrients with, re, uh, with relation to the percentage that it has been added to the fertilizer and effective usage of the government resource. So it will be reducing the fiscal expenditure in terms of the subsidy that has been given by the government. So these are all the benefits it holds with regards to the NBS. And what does the neem coated urea is about? The urea is nothing but the nitrogen based fertilizer which provides essential nutrients to plants. The neem coated urea is the specialized form of urea that is that has been coated with neem oil which slows down the release of nitrogen to the soil. 
and this reduces the nitrogen leaching and also at the same time volatilization see the volatilization is nothing but the conversion of the molecules into vapors which is present in the liquid or the solid state and it reduces the nitrous oxide emission which in turn bring down the quantity of urea or the nitrogen fertilizer that has been used excessively on the soil and at the, at the same time it will be reducing the input cost of the farmers so this is the uh, advantage as well as the explanation part of the neem coated urea acid so what need to be studied further is we should be aware of so what we should be aware of the other subsidy in india and then what is this urea gold and then we should be aware of the minimum support price which is being provided by the government with regards to the other crops carry fellow as well as rabi crops and then the sugar grain the sugar cane crops so on and so forth so these are all the things which we needed to be further aware of and with this we have reached the end of this topic